Out with chat this morning. It's July 29th, 2019. Hard to believe it's only about four weeks or so to the opening day for Hungarian partridge and then another week after that for ducks. Just doing some, uh, some drills with uh, Chet today. I've got him sitting out in front of me in front of this little puddle, mostly just to keep him uh, cool uh, in the heat, but it also helps him uh, drive through the water instead of uh, doing a cheat and coming around the edges. I've got one bumper set out straight behind him, you might be able to see in the camera, then one over here to the left and one over here to the right. And what we're gonna work on today is uh, angle backs. So this is a remote uh, retrieve so he's sitting in front of me and I'll send him uh, back to get one of those uh, bumpers. So the straight one's fairly, the straight uh, behind him is fairly straightforward. The ones at the angles he's been struggling with. Um, you would use this in the field when hunting. If you send a dog uh, back on a long retrieve and he gets offline, uh, instead of doing them on a straight left or right cast from a remote position, you can kind of cut those corners and do an angle. So I'll, uh, what I'll do is, uh, you can see here right now that he's sitting uh, a little bit cockeyed to me. And when I cast him, if I cast him with my right hand, uh, he should turn off his left shoulder. But the way he's sitting right now, he will definitely turn off his right shoulder and go back to that dummy. And what that does is that it sets the dog off on a, a bad turn and a bad line. So what I'll try to do is straighten him up here. And he straightened up and then I'll move so that dummy's right above his head and then I'll do a straight back cast. Back! Leave. Leave. So I'll reset him up again in behind the puddle and then I'll try a left cast uh, and we'll see how he makes out. All right, we've got Chet set back up again on the other side of this little puddle. Uh, we just did a straight back command in the previous clip. In this clip here now, we're gonna try to go for this bird over here on the left. And ideally what I'd like to do is use my left hand for that and angle it about 45 degrees uh, off the center. So when I send them straight back, my hand, my right hand is right over my head and I yell back. Uh, this one here, I want them to go back, but I also want them to go to the left. So it's a bit of a, a compromise between straight back and a straight left command. So we'll get his attention here and we'll send him. And he should turn again off his right shoulder. Uh, I think he's going to do that, um, but with him, he tends to uh, uh, switch it up and I just never know which way he's going to go. I'd like to get him uh, more in line with which arm I'm using. Part of the drills we're doing today. Back! And he took a good line. In the previous two clips we did a straight back retrieve and then we did one off to the left and now there's one just over by these trees here. Uh, it's just off the edge of the berm so he can't see it. Uh, the wind's kind of coming from left to right for me. You should always try to work your dog into the wind for blind retrieves but I'm pretty sure he'll hook around and catch that all right. I don't think it's going to be as straight as line as what he took with the left one but we'll see how he makes out. Again, you can see he's not quite in sitting perpendicular to, to me. He may have a tendency to turn off his right shoulder, which I don't want to see. I want to see him turn off his left shoulder, 
And uh, to help with that, I'll just take a quick step to the right and use my right arm as the cast. So here we go. Back! And he turned off the good shoulder. And the dummy was just over the berm. Good, good, good dog. Back with Chet, we're going to do a blind retrieve across this pond. Uh, the dummy is back uh, just to uh, those fence posts. I'm not sure whether you can see it in the camera or not. We're going to set them up here. The idea is that we get them to go straight across the pond, straight back again without any cheating, which is running around the pond. So we'll get them set up here and see what he does. Here, son. Feel. 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 No. 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 Dead. Back!
this drill, we're going to leave a dummy right here in front of the camera. This drill, uh, we're in front of a man-made pond. It's about 50 yards across. And I've got Jacob on the other side with the starter pistol and two dummies. He's gonna fire the pistol and throw a dummy to his left and to his right. Uh, these are actually mark, called marks, and we'll get the dog across. And hopefully he gets up to the bank and finds the uh, dummies without uh, cheating or going offline. Chat. Bit of a hunt for that bird, but he got it. Took a pretty good line across the water, so I was happy with that. Always send the dog on the last bird thrown, which is called the go bird. Here. Sit. Good. Leave. Chat. Use his name off of a mark and then use back as a command for a blind. He hasn't done a lot of practice on uh, multiple marks at uh, distance. We'll see how good his memory is. He's going to hook to the right, I can see. Of course, that bird that uh, Jacob threw was to my left. So I might have to make a correction here.
I'm not going to make excuses for the dog. He was distracted a bit by Jacob, but at least he uh, took his directions when he was there. You should ignore uh, any distractions like that and remember where that bird is and just be driven to find it. I don't use verbal commands for uh, the overcast uh, for left or right. Uh, I just move a little bit to the direction that I'm going and uh, uh, the dog watches my hands. Good. Sit. Good. Shake. Good. The last drill of the day, we're just going to do some simple marks. I'm going to throw three dummies out in the water, uh, left, right, and center. And then I'll get uh, Chad into the go bird, which will be the last one. Wind's kind of coming my way, so um, I'll probably try to throw this right one out as further as I can. And then uh, the last uh, bird I'll send them for, uh, but I'll do a redirect on the middle bird, so we'll see how that goes. Chat. Sit. Good. Shake. Chat. No. Chat. Good dog. S sit. Leave. Good dog. Heel. Chat. Usually with marks where he can see them, uh, you don't have to use a very loud voice. You notice the difference in volume between driving him back for uh, back commands on blinds that he doesn't see. Springers with their low hung ears like that tend to get water in it and that's why he's shaking his head. Here. Sit. Shake. Good dog. 
Good dog. Okay, where you go?